Hello guys, good evening. Am I audible? Please respond in chat. Am I audible? Okay, guys. So welcome you all in this session and welcome to IITN's gate classes. So uh, this session is about how to prepare for DGCA upcoming UPSC air safety exam if they take. Okay. So briefly, I will go through what we have uh, shared earlier uh, regarding uh, vacancy details, eligibility, age limit, important dates, recruitment process and then the most important part which we are going to discuss today is how to prepare for uh, this uh, DGC air safety officers post. Now guys uh, about vacancies so the vacancy number is this and there are total 44 vacancies uh, for the post of air safety officers in uh, DGCA so it is dire directorate uh, general of civil aviation it comes under Ministry of Civil Aviation. And uh, these 44 vacancies are divided in these categories for SC Category 7, ST3, OBC 12, EWS 4, and unreserved 18 seats. Okay. And for physically, I think PW, BD is a four post. Okay. Now, guys, what is the essential qualification? You need to be um, having a degree in aeronautical engineering. Uh, okay, you need to have a degree in nautical engineering from a recognized university. Now, guys, uh, that is like either you should have B, uh, B tech. Now, there is one question majority, majority of the students are having. Are uh, aerospace engineer uh, or avionics engineer are eligible for this or not? So as per my understanding, yes, uh, both aerospace and avionics uh, engineers are eligible under aeronautical engineering stream. Further, you guys can check uh, about this uh, uh, by sending a mail to UPSC as well as DGCA. Earlier, my student, Mr. Ram Soni, he had uh, been in aerospace engineering and he got selected in 2018 recruitment. So there is no issue as far as aerospace engineering degree is considered or concerned. Now, guys, uh, this question is there, Mr. Uh, uh, F.A. Uh, so vacancy comes every year. No, after 2018, the vacancy came in 2023. In 2018, the number of vacancies were 16. Uh, they took uh, exam. Uh, currently, there are number of vacancies 44. So is it clear? And what is the age limit? Age limit is 35 years. So 35 years is quite high age, uh, you know, limit. So many people will apply even with experience. They have not mentioned anything particularly in essential educational qualification or anything about, uh, you know, experience part. But definitely those who are having relevant experience, they, they may have a age. But when Mr. Ram Soni, Mr. Ram Soni uh, got, uh, he was uh, pursuing MTech at, uh, uh, or you can say he finished the MTech uh, from IIT Bombay. Okay, so that time he was not having any uh, kind of experience, but he got. Okay, so any other doubt or concern, guys, regarding this? Because it's a frequently asked question. Are aerospace or avionics engineer are eligible for this post? In fact, in this UPSC exam, 
uh, they ask questions from avionics part also they ask questions from core aerospace engineering they ask questions from high school your physics they ask some questions in fact from your aircraft regulation part any doubt guys any concern so those who are watching this uh, session they can thumbs up if you guys are finding this session interesting yeah now the next part is what very important is important dates now you guys will be knowing you know icrb uh, also conducting exam for isro recruitment and now some people are asking me can we apply now how they can apply because the the closing application closing date is over still icrb have not announced uh, have not announced uh, you know the exam date but application form date is over so make sure guys um, application uh, starting date is 24 june but it ends by 13 july so whoever is interested make sure they apply before you know 13th of july and uh, here they mention the last date for printing of completely submitted online application form yeah 14 july okay so these are like offline and online dates i think yes now guys another question can fourth year appearing students are eligible appearing means what i think uh, those who are passing in 2023 they must uh, clarify by sending a mail they must clarify by sending mail to dgca and uh, upsc because uh, krishna uh, it depends uh, i will go i will come to that point also about exam now those who are passing uh, degree in 2023 uh, they have not mentioned categorically about anything okay so because they may, they may not able to submit application form also because in application form all required details asked regarding passing degree and all so uh, they should clarify and uh, whatever reply they get uh, based on that they should get document from their college either hod letter or whatever they have provisional certificate or uh, anything okay so this is about fourth year passing students uh, those who are pursuing like in seventh semester or uh, eighth sem uh, i think they will be in seventh semester now people will be in seventh semester they can't they can't now krishna i will come to your question also uh, will they conduct exam there is uh, they have themselves mentioned it, it depends on how many people apply for this post okay now selection procedure so what is the selection procedure um, they will conduct uh, interview for a reasonable number by any or more of the following method so they have mentioned the methods so uh, those who are having desirable qualification they will uh, shortlist them and they may conduct interview okay based on this advertisement now they have given certain criteria if the number of applications are high if the number of applications are high in that case they may hold uh, they may hold a recruitment test okay and then they will consider wait is 75 raised to 25 accorded for the marks in recruitment test and marks in interviews in determine final merit so now is it clear mr krishna prashant prashant uh what is harshit uh, your question sir in course completion certificate uh, eligible to show the proof degree certificate see uh, again you can clarify i will not give a you know random answer here you can clarify with upsc if you are not having final provision certificate okay hopefully they should uh, you know they they should allow because 
I am pretty sure they are not going to get easily uh, good 45 uh, aeronautical engineer. Okay, until unless IGCNs, many IGCN passed out IGCNs apply. But I have seen many passed out IGCNs even have not opted for DRDO also. Even they got call. Gaurav, you know, right? IITNs will not opt BTEC because uh, they, they might have got very good package in non-core and those who are already in core in private sector, they will be having very good package and now aerospace is again booming. Uh, if you go in core, uh, 15 lakh is like kind of, uh, you know, uh, ordinary package now. Many people get 15 lakh plus package in core also. So uh, uh, my point is like it may be may not it may be they may not conduct exam Krishna if uh, not sufficient people apply. Okay, clear. So who will have age if they do not conduct exam? So in that case, age will be. Uh, for experienced candidate, whoever having relevant experience like uh, project experience in ARDA, NL, AD or uh, some kind of experience in private uh, companies like in engineering services companies uh, where, you know, some people may not happy with the, you know, their job, they may apply for this government job, then definitely because in my previous, many of my friends are in uh, DGCA, many, many of my friend, okay, in DGCA. Why? Earlier they were not taking exam. So my many ASI friend, my my classmates and degree friend got in DRDO, in airworthiness officer post, in air safety engineer post, uh, in early, uh, uh, early, you can say 2020s, means in 2010, 12, 14, even my seniors got. That time DGCA was not taking exam. But after 2015, they took exam in 2018. Sir, I have four month project work experience in ISR. Yeah, uh, it will be. They will ask questions from that. Okay, uh, because uh, my my student was there along with Ram Soni, one more student, Gugan, who later did uh, masters from IST and now working. He also cleared uh, this written exam in 2018, but couldn't make it in uh, you know uh, final list. So they asked many questions uh, to him what he has done in AD because earlier uh, he was working in AD before joining IST. Yeah. Yes, Vishal, I'm telling whoever is uh, having working experience will have advantage if they directly go for interview. Now, if written exam is conducted, then who are fresher? they will have age because uh, mostly they will perform better if they prepare well. And Vishal, anyway, you are preparing for gate. So you will have advantage in both way. Okay. So clear any doubt? Till that any doubt guys? Any doubt, any concern? Okay. So let's move to next part. Yeah. So what is the important? If they conduct exam, then these are the criteria they fixed. For general, you need to have minimum uh, 50 marks uh, for EWS or unreserved. For OBC, you need to have 45 marks and uh, SCST and 40. Okay. Of the total marks uh, in interview. Okay, so you need to get this much marks in interview, even if you have, you know, good marks in written. So interview, you need to have good marks also so that. 
now recruitment test uh, followed by interview candidate will achieve a minimum level of suitability in their respective category at interview stage that is again so what is the syllabus for air safety officer yes iqbal next that is your next question which i am going to discuss so this is about important now guys uh, on this same dgc air safety we have already conducted one session by mr ram gopal soni in i think uh, 2022 around so that is available on iit uh, iitians get classes uh, youtube channel I, I will show the uh, url of that you guys can go through because he has shared his experience of you know getting selected uh, in dgc air safety officer post yeah uh, now guys next so what is the syllabus so recruitment test syllabus uh, it is not uh, mentioned by upsc but i have got this based on this source dgc upsc 2018 air safety exam so as per the previous exam uh, what is the syllabus they have questions from mathematics engineering mathematics or basic mathematics engineering mechanics uh, fluid mechanics and uh, aerodynamics um, gas dynamics he, uh, this thermodynamics and heat transfer gas dynamics flight mechanics propulsion aircraft structures aircraft materials avionics and aircraft regulation in engineering mechanics there are some questions from physics also like there is a questions from optics so uh, guys uh, you need to be good in uh, your high school basics specifically physics basics engineering mechanics in fact engineering mechanics is again there in your engineering curriculum okay uh, but it is not there much in get uh, aerospace syllabus but igc considered that subject as very important subject right Vishal, what you say? So, Iqbal, it's clear. Any cutoff prediction of written exam and syllabus also? Yes, we will discuss. The syllabus is clear. Mr. Gaurav, I will share the sample questions also. I'll share the weightage from each subject also. So, this syllabus is clear, right? So, what is the syllabus? Now you can see it's a high school basics, uh, your aeronautical and avionics engineering basics and your DGCA regulations. What is the source of this? It's a DGCA UPSC 2018 as safety exam. Clear to all? So now guys tell, most of aeronautical engineers are aware of this syllabus. Yes or no? In fact, uh, this aircraft regulations also taught in some of the engineering colleges as one subject. Is it pretty clear about syllabus part, guys? So that's why aeronautical engineers have or aerospace engineers have high chances to, uh, to get in this DGCA. Last year, you know, in 2018, in 2018 exam, from my my university or you can say my my friends from where i did my engineering 15 friends cleared my 15 friends cleared not friends means my fellow juniors 15 fellow juniors cleared written exam okay because it's okay so you have done BTEC plus AME. Uh, of course, then you can, uh, do you have any experience this mathematical wizard? And uh, you did BTEC from which college? If you have done BTEC from, uh, from any professional society, then you are not eligible. Because last time they did uh, this issue. Last time a uh, professional society like ASI uh, student, they didn't allow for interview though they have cleared written exam. So I am from ASI, my 15 uh, fellow juniors cleared a uh, written, but they didn't allow for uh, interview. Okay, now uh, uh, this mathematical wizard, it depends. And uh, with AME, uh, you can apply for that aircraft. Uh, the, there is one more post now, uh, airworthiness post also, if you are having three years of relevant experience. Okay, 
now guys uh, now syllabus part is clear now uh, one more uh, yeah fine now what is this uh, 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 paper so all about paper so how many questions are there uh, rajasthan technical university yes mr uh, mathematical wizard rtu quota no issue you can happily happily apply and you can happily get in dgca so let's about all about paper so if they take exam if they don't take exam then there is no value of uh, this whatever paper it was earlier so mostly uh, many people will apply uh, if uh, like uh, all are aware anyway many are aware uh, we have already shared video it was watched by around 800 people yes regulations preparation is to be polished yes mr gorav uh, definitely no ame alone you can't apply you need to have ame plus aeronautical engineering but for aeronautical engineers ame is not required okay if you are mechanical engineer then definitely ame electronics electrical and that too that is for airworthiness officer for air safety officer they have allowed only aeronautical engineering okay now total number of questions are 100 uh, all the co co questions are conceptual the type of question is mcq type and what kind of questions there are theoretical questions and there are simple numerical based questions so this is about paper now it is, it is clear guys what kind of paper they take what is the source of these details again upsc 2018 air safety exam uh, guys i want to share my experience uh, you know in 2021 hl uh, took uh, exam hl took exam uh, for what um, hldt position okay and for HLDT position, there was no previous uh, P, PYQ. Like previously, there was no question paper available on Google or anywhere because HL do not post official paper. Still, IGC took initiative. Uh, we have provided HLDT support for 2021. Okay. And there were, uh, uh, they selected 35 uh, people for interview uh, or the, in return 35 people uh, uh, cleared out of 35 11 were IGCians okay so we provided best guidance based on our uh, you know feedback from our uh, friends and all whoever has written previous HLDT exam in 2013 so hl gave this hldt exam for aeronautical engineer i think after 2013 okay after 2013 or 2014 they took so we were quite successful but if you take if you take uh, this 2022 hldt exam there were only two posts and both posts both post grabbed by IGCians. Okay. Uh, they selected some 11 people. Out of 11, nine were, uh, 8 or 9 were IGCians. In return, 11 cleared. Out of 11, 8 or 9 were IGCians. Now guys, what happened? These both guys joined DRDO. This both, both who got na HLDT, they both left uh, HL and joined DRDO. DRDO scientist. And you all know guys, right? IGC was very active in providing uh, DRDO uh, you know interview support how many of you are aware I have worked uh, three or four full Sunday to provide uh, mock interviews 
to igcns okay without taking any leave continuously one month i didn't take any leave and uh, so what was the final result the out of out of total uh, you know out of total 27 uh, 27 post 11 igcns got scientist post out of 27 11 are igc student so out of 11 four joined ada and uh, seven in drdo from igc in this 2023 okay so this is our uh, you know uh, track record and experience of guiding uh, students for psus so you guys are understanding uh, the the network we have the the kind of friends we have uh, the kind of mentors we have the kind of work we do with the plan clear to everyone okay so this is about some track record of igc now the next part so what is the weightage so if you see the weightage from mathematics they asked nine question from physics and engineering mechanics eight questions but majority of the questions from engineering mechanics they have asked uh, from fluid mechanics aer and aerodynamics nine questions from thermodynamics and heat transfer five questions five questions from gas dynamics flight mechanics wow so this is going to be very important subject flight mechanics they asked 18 question and from propulsion eight questions from structures they asked less questions but i believe if they take exam in 2023 they will ask more questions from structures also because structure is also very important subject very very important subjects in aerospace yes or no mr gorav vishal or uh, any guy structure is also very important uh, and uh, a complicated subject because lot of safety regulations are there yeah that that first uh, mr everettus they lets them decide they will take exam or not mr everettus clear my point if they take exam then all this story will be helpful so uh structures you guys can expect more question same way propulsion also very important but since they can, they if they conduct exam they are going to ask 100 questions so there may be here and there slight changes but they will ask questions from all these subjects now the next important subject is what avionics so from avionics they ask 15 questions but in avionics also there are multiple subjects like digital electronics uh, electromagnetic theory analog electronics or electrical machine uh, they have asked questions from variety of subjects and you all know uh, these are some subjects from uh, electronics engineering sub uh, electrical machine is a core subjects of electrical engineering so uh, that is what but ic uh, igc uh, what is the strength vishal of igc tell me can we teach avionics or can we cover this avionics part swastik ha huh? why we can cover others can we cover rangarasu why yes mr gorav what is the advantage because uh mr gorav we have ec and double e branch also in gate we teach for gate ec and double e and i am happy to say mr gorav from ec and double e also we have got my students in psu in coal india we have got a student in ntpc we have got a student in ongc okay uh, so and definitely guys not to worry 
IGC is all in one solution. Okay, anything related to aerospace or uh, either gate aerospace or aerospace PSUs. Okay, so that's briefly because uh, we have dedicated faculties for uh, electromagnetic theory. Uh, uh, we have faculties for analog or we have faculty for digital control, um, any communication or any subjects, electrical machine, power system, power electronics, uh, instrument, uh, instrumentation and measurements. These are the few subjects from uh, electronics and electrical side. Now, guys, uh, Mr. Swastik, your favorite or uh, Vishal, your favorite, sir. Uh, Dhiraj sir is, uh, uh, I think Dhiraj sir has not taught to you. Uh, any fab batch student is there? Dhiraj sir is expert of EMTF because he's from electronic side. Okay, fine. Now the next part is what, uh, which is very important as you told uh, Mr. Gorav is uh, uh, aircraft regulations. Okay, what is the important aircraft? regulation so for aircraft regulation also don't worry we have access to car you have to go through sar sar manuals you know anyone knows sar manuals who knows civil aviation regulations anybody knows sar manuals So those who know SAR manuals, they can refer uh, this part, aircraft regulations part from SAR manuals. Okay, so this is all about uh, wettage part. Okay, again, uh, you have some high school basics, aeronautical and avionics engineering basics, DGC regulations. Yeah, so that's. Now guys, those who are watching this session, uh, Again, I will request if you like this session, can thumbs up. This will motivate me to provide, you know, some more free lectures like I have done for HLDT uh, because my plan to uh, solve this uh, 2018 paper uh, live, okay, uh, for uh, majority of the part. Okay. Uh, you are asking what on DGC site? No, it is on not on DGC side. SAR manuals are uh, different uh, URL, sir. Okay. Yeah. Now, guys, how to prepare written exam if conducted? So this is important part. If conducted, okay. I hope it will be conducted. And uh, those who are watching, uh, they can. Uh, uh, refer this uh, to prepare. Oh, Mr. Dhiraj Kapte, exam date. Uh, exam date has not been announced, Mr. Dhiraj. Uh, they may announce soon. Once they close the application part, based on that, they will decide to conduct exam or not. Clear, Mr. Dhiraj? Now, the, the basic requirement for us to apply. Yeah, it is available. SAR modules available. On DGCA website, direct link, I am not sure. But um, you guys can serve SAR modules. And uh, the, they have given categorically for airworthiness, what are the requirements for air safety regulations, everything. So since we are preparing for air safety, we have to go the related SAR manuals. Okay. So what is the basic things which you guys should do to apply, right? Okay, now guys, uh, let's come to uh, this part, uh, how to prepare for this. So the first and foremost, if they conduct exam, then first focus, you guys have to cover the whole syllabus. Why whole syllabus? Because uh, the questions will be simple, uh, theoretical questions and, uh, you know, simple numerical questions. So the paper will be scoring paper. So you have to get more marks compared to your competitor because they will include uh, 75, right? Uh, 
uh, uh, percentage from written if they conduct exam okay so the written exam uh, getting good marks in written exam is important so you should cover whole syllabus i have already given the brief about what what could be syllabus based on previous experience now mr iqbal are you there yeah any other question guys before moving to this part any question guys any question guys okay now guys the the first task which you guys should focus to cover the whole syllabus i mean whole syllabus means uh, this uh, uh, your high school basics your core aeronautical or aerospace engineering subjects uh, avionic subjects and aircraft regulation that is what whole syllabus and from where you should start you can start from your basic subjects like mathematics engineering mechanics and other like fluid basics thermo basics okay so these i mean basic subjects and what should be the approach when you study mathematics you solve all 2018 questions uh this uh, 2018 paper questions okay so that way you will come to know uh exactly on so normally how many days after notification they can conduct exam uh gorav it uh, last year they took uh, last time they took a uh, lot of time uh, in fact for entire process they took almost a year time e to krishna you re written you also wrote uh could you clear that exam mr krishna could you clear exam if not also fine but you have experience so last time they took lot of time mr gorav uh, kind of one year for entire process but this this time since uh, you know parliamentary elections are there in 2024 uh, so all the psus uh, they will be fast forward they will do recruitment quickly and because lot of uh, requirement as there due to covid okay uh, due to covid uh, you know lot many posts are open uh, so uh, so uh, what i mean uh, if you really want to get in this uh, dgc exam see what is the uh, advantage if you start preparing now mr gorav see you have the basic qualification right to apply if you are already graduate or graduating in 2023 hopefully you can apply now if you start preparing now uh, it will help you in your interview okay understood mandate of recruitment has been given to all psu yes gorav that's correct so now all the and in fact i have internal news hl will be also having hldt recruitment soon there are some around uh, uh, 200 post total okay so guys uh, again uh, uh, igc will be active soon krishna prashad Uh, since 2018 notification came exam has conducted after 9 cbrt means 9 cbrt means i am not able to understand what is 9 cbrt okay uh, so the next part uh, is uh, uh, yes good news for uh, aero engineering because this year uh and good news for igc also because uh, definitely many igcians will be future scientist uh, future hl managers uh, for me it's quite satisfactory uh, you know uh, feeling because i am an aero engineer by choice not by chance and uh, i was uh, technocrat but i am uh, now an uh, full time educator okay and uh, definitely i have plan to uh, become again uh a uh, technocrat uh not like working in any company but maybe in future startup i may invest okay my expertise and uh, my resources 
not immediately but uh, uh, in coming years definitely uh, okay because currently i have a lot of task at igc itself uh, because uh, non aero and uh, non aerospace branches uh, we have to work a lot okay though we are getting good results in non aerospace branches also um, i am uh, yeah computer based request test uh, so after 9 month you are telling right conducted after 9 month cbrt uh, so lot much of work is there with me once i settle uh, those work then i will be you know part of uh, some of the startup okay fine so that's one thing now you guys must start preparing uh, seriously uh, because if you are eligible and if you are able to apply for this post i will say frankly so you start uh, because uh, anyway in interview panel iit professor will be there okay so iit professor gorav what they expect they expect you should be good in basics so you start a uh, reef uh, uh, you know brushing your basics okay how much will you charge for study material are yaar pehle let me finish this okay i i am not bothering ki how may how much we are going to charge i am bothering my igcn should get selected okay that's the always our prime aim uh, so that's why we do and same way whatever we do it is helpful to many others also who may be non igcians okay so now next thing uh, you should uh, read thorough thoroughly important subjects after basics like aerodynamics propulsion flight mechanics then avionics aircraft regulations okay uh, in the second stage of your preparation then uh for core aerospace engineering subjects you can use your gate notes and you can also use pyqs for practice for simple questions and sim simple numericals because see the if you go four years of engineering curriculum uh there are plenty of things right which we study so if you try that way it will be a very vague idea so i'll i'll try i'll say for core aerospace engineering subjects you can stick to your you know gate content that way you can complete with the confidence in the less time more subjects and then you use the reverse engineering approach try to solve the already asked questions and then you'll get fair idea what kind of the level of the questions and from where they are asking and uh, i'll show the sample questions so it will be more clear yes punit uh, will provide i'm i will go in that but i'll wait till they uh, you know uh, tell the date before that punit you are igcians you have already access gorav you already have access to materials right uh, you have already prepared for gate you know igc's approach to start engineering mechanics mathematics fluid mechanics thermodynamics right so you follow that i'm pretty sure uh even if they do not conduct uh, exam then also you will be having uh, you will be better prepared than others uh, i think there is a typo q2 they conducted in 2019 right august yeah so Uh, last time they took more time but this time is uh, it it will not be that way hopefully now the next you have to cover avionics part for avionics part guys you can wait uh, uh, or you can take uh, once you cover this uh, basics and uh, core aerospace engineering aeronautical engineering part you can start uh, going through subjects like digital analog emtf electrical machines basics uh from you need, you may need uh, help of someone who is a uh, expert from that same domain uh, ec double e engineer uh, and uh, then try to solve uh, 2018 questions and get uh, uh, get a fair idea uh, up to what level you need to prepare from avionics and uh, some of the uh, you know uh, colleges have avionics separate branch like in ups ups dehradun 
and uh, some of the engineering colleges have subjects like control system guidance but i don't think they have asked any questions from control mostly questions from basics okay not from that and then the aircraft regulation part for that you guys should start ca reading car manuals so that's all how to prepare for this written exam and same time when you read all these uh, definitely you are preparing for uh, interview as well so those who are watching this sessions they can thumbs up if they are liking this sessions and if any questions uh, i'll be happy to take any question guys on this this part okay any question guys yeah now come to igc's paid support because somebody was asking yeah before that uh, one point is yeah sir from where can i get uh, notes of avionics and instruments uh, punit uh, it's bit difficult to get uh, because ec electrical also a vast branches of engineering right so you need someone who is already expert uh, uh, to uh, like sit with you and tell ki this is what you have to study based on the asked questions otherwise it's a whole you know four years of engineering uh, yes uh, i will discuss on that uh, kitu uh, krishna uh, so how to prepare for interview that is the next question after written exam so again you need to read uh, your core engineering subjects from standard books because in interview they ask basics and uh, uh, you need to be very thorough with your academic projects either your btech or mtech if you have done definitely they ask questions from that they have asked from all the candidate and if you have any related experience in aerospace domain be clear about your work definitely they will ask questions from that so in interview panel usually there will be three members one will be chairman and then uh, the another person from dgca uh, senior dgca officer and then iit professor okay so they will be taking interview and if you want to uh, hear from uh, who already got selected in D, uh, dgca 2018 mr ram soni uh, he is a igc alumni of 2018 uh, gate 2018 alumni and uh, uh, he got uh, in dgca uh, and you can watch his uh, you know interview uh, this is available on igc's youtube channel okay so that's all about uh, this interview and uh, written preparation part now come to point where people may be looking igc support uh, like they have taken earlier for HLDT, okay. And for DRDO, we have not provided support to non-IGC student. Why, Puneet? For DRDO, we have not provided any support to non-IGC student. Why? Yeah, uh, Mr. Gora, uh, you want me to share that URL in comment box? Uh, uh, Gaurav, I will share below this video, below this session, this URL after the session. Okay. Why we have not provided any more interview support to non IGC student? Yeah, you, you can mention mechanical design because they may ask uh, some questions from that mechanical design. Okay, Puni Swastik, Krishna, Vishal, why we have not uh, given support to your fellow seniors from uh, those who are not from IGC? Because see, IGC is dedicated to IGCians and self-preparing people. Our first priority is IGC students because IGC students trust in IGC they have not joined other institute right 
so why we should bother about uh, other institutes uh, student okay so i have my simple philosophy uh, like first we are here for igc students then self study student and then last who are from other institute clear mr swastik the priority is very clear igc students self preparing students and then last whoever interested can watch our sessions okay in uh, post gate guidance also we follow same technique in post gate guidance uh, our first priority is igc student second is self preparing students third they can watch our session because these are really available now guys uh, here uh, like this point will come ki can i become igc student uh, 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 if i am from some x or y coaching institute in that also igc student uh, igc generally do not prefer to entertain other coaching student uh, other coaching institute student if you are self preparing definitely you can join any igc course okay now since uh, this uh, upsc exam uh, for this uh, we will make it open to all because other coaching uh, institute who are in aerospace domain they don't have that much capability okay so considering that we may provide support uh, specifically if somebody go for our full uh, the full course which we are going to launch okay along with self preparing students and for igc student those who are already there for 2024 gate uh, for them i will make this course free we shall those who are 2024 pursuing students we are not going to uh, charge and those who are already our previous students they may have some charges based on what access they are looking for okay so this is about igc paid uh, support for written exam and interview so uh, what all they will get they will get uh, access to study material for core subjects from igc they will get access for recorded uh, uh, lectures uh, for core aerospace engineering in crisp means uh, we are going to provide our uh, crash course uh, gorav uh, you have taken in the last crash course classes right uh, so that crash course we will make it available uh, for uh, uh, those who are looking uh, you know uh, supports in core aerospace engineering subjects based on the gate syllabus okay and then we will be having dedicated classes for avionics section from our uh, ec electrical experts uh, uh, and we will provide good number of classes okay already i had a discussion on sam with my team members and uh, we will also provide material access for aircraft regulations anyway that access is available for most of the people we'll provide two mock exams uh, we may provide more but we are promising only two mock exams okay online exams uh, definitely we'll provide doubt support and mentoring we'll also provide mock interview guidance and cost for this course will be 10000 for all self preparing and non igc students okay and uh, mock interview if we conduct any mock interview for that payment will be separate because in mock interview it is conducted by retired uh, hl isro drdo peoples okay so our cost is high in uh, for that so that's about igcs paid course okay now any con anything you guys want to ask on that uh, mr imansu Uh, who were asking this question uh earlier also somebody asked uh mr uh, what is iqbal is this question uh, clear okay anyway uh, those who are igc students uh, they can ask me in person what support they are looking uh, so i can provide them access now let's see the last part of this the kind of questions they asked in 2018 paper so we can have a glance on that so before that any concern or any doubt regarding that uh, support paid support by igc guys see this support basically will be applicable if they conduct exam now guys those who are watching this session they can thumbs up if they like the 
till now whatever we have discussed yeah can you please show the slide containing the question marks yeah that is what next we are going to do mr mathematics wizard that is what i am going to do next okay so 2018 paper question before that any 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 doubt any concern quickly any doubt any concern okay so let's move to next part uh, so first we'll move to the, through mathematics first we'll move through mathematics so hmm, what happened i think so, oh okay yeah i think just guys wait uh, there is some concern here question is not visible so let me let me check guys for mathematics question is not visible let me let me see the concern yeah so now i am back okay so guys uh if you see these are the questions you guys can see okay so let's see the question the this is a mathematics question can you guys see can you guys see the mathematics question yeah yeah so you guys can see the mathematics question yeah sir if we want uh, to take both courses of dgca and hl uh it's a tricky question let hl dt comes okay but anyway if you take this uh, dgca uh, dgca course uh, definitely it is going to help in hl dt also okay so this is math question so you guys can see this is a question from your calculus limit now the next question this is a questions from linear algebra you guys can you see the questions from linear algebra yeah you guys can solve this question not an issue okay so the question uh, next question from linear algebra okay 
and uh, uh, actually it is of engineering because they have asked questions from uh, different topics of engineering so it's a kind of mix you can say it's a high school plus engineering mathematics basics okay so guys can see the question because this kind of matrix question we do not study in high school right this linear algebra in depth we study in engineering mathematics right so uh, there are uh, questions from integrations also okay and in high schools there are many topics okay like coordinate geometry is there a trigonometry is there algebra all those things are not uh, asked like kind of uh, related to engineering mathematics more of the asked now next is engineering mechanics so you guys can see the engineering mechanics questions Okay, just a moment, guys. Okay, so next you can see the questions from uh, this. engineering mechanics you can see a uh, next question which is again from engineering mechanics next uh, thermodynamics and heat transfer so if you take thermodynamics and heat transfer uh, you can see the questions it's a numerical question from heat transfer. Then you can see uh, theoretical questions from thermodynamics. Okay. Then you can see questions from fluid and aerodynamics. You can see the questions from aerodynamics. Okay. Uh, based on this uh, infinite wing theory of fire, uh, right? Related to vortex. Uh, so what is the answer for this question guys from aerodynamics 26 number question what is the answer for question number 26 yeah so biosovert law or helmholtz law which law guys what is the answer? Bias our law, right? So these we this we study in our engineering, right? So guys, C is the answer, correct? So next question is from fluid basics. So you guys can see, read the question and answer. What is D? For which? Why D? C is the answer, no? Krishna for that question number 26 question number 27 guys look into the question question number 27 yeah so it is from fluid basics so read the question and tell the answer consider the following statement for the case of steady flow the magnitude and direction of the velocity vector at all points are fixed invariant with time. Second, streamlines are different from path lines. Streamlines and path lines are identical. Hmm? Others, what is the answer?
तो स्ट्रीम्स लाइन आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम पाथ लाइंस द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ द वेलोसिटी वेक्टर एट ऑल पॉइंट्स आर फिक्स्ड इन वेरिएंट विद टाइम राइट कृष्णा सो यू हैव टू ब्रश राइट डी इज द आंसर 1 एंड 3 इज द वाह सो ऑल आंसर्स आर कमिंग ए बी सी डी सो ऑल आर करेक्ट ऑल फोर आर करेक्ट how it is possible okay so this is just uh, you know glance we need to refresh right we don't remember always everything so guys whatever is the answer you guys can refer basics and then you know solve this question then next question this is from surface tension so surface tension guys basically in aerospace engineering uh, or gate aerospace it is not uh, uh, you know ask any questions from surface tension but in gate mechanical they ask questions from surface tension so there is a numerical questions based on surface tension but in our engineering curriculum we study everything so you guys can see a simple numerical based on surface tension streamlines and path lines are identical for steady flow yes correct so d was the correct answer right okay those who are saying other answers they can verify okay now look into this question so this is a simple numericals for surface tension right so for this kind of simple uh, you know questions we can draw for uh, pyq of gate right previous years questions of gate gate aerospace gate mechanical right for fluid mechanics thermodynamics heat transfer and also for uh, engineering mechanics now if you look further uh, the questions from aircraft structures they ask not many questions but answer for guys for this questions from aircraft structures in an airplane fuseless the stiffness what the role of stiffness in airplane fuseless are helpful in preventing buckling are helpful in supporting lateral loads cannot prevent buckling cannot support longitudinal load so what is the correct answer guys in airplane fuseless the stiffness what is the answer what is the answer for 37 question number 37 so those who are watching this session still can thumbs up this session i have to tell again and again usually at igc we don't tell all share subscribe like okay a is the answer a is the answer yes a is the answer always in case of wing no a is the answer krishna uh, okay lateral load is not supported by uh, uh, stiffness lateral loads are pressure loads basically and pressure loads will be supported by skin okay so a is the answer actually uh, this will prevent buckling because the this stiffness will shorten uh, the uh section length of uh, fuseless skin okay so a is the answer right so all these kind of questions we study in gate also right i have provided one document also uh for that uh right uh, aerospace components applications and uh, you know functionality so that can refer then there is one simple questions from pressure vessels thin cells so we study uh, these also right pressure in the vessel they give you know, longitudinal stress they ask right so what is the longitudinal stress pd by what pd by 40 right for a three in cylindrical vessels right what is the hoop stress what is the hoop stress pd by 2t right what is the longitudinal uh, longitudinal stress pd by 40 so sigma l and this is sigma h 
right am i correct for this question question number 54 what is the answer guys this is a simple numerical can be solved right yes or no d is the answer others also guys quickly can check what is the answer guys for this question mr swastik what is the answer okay d is the answer guys mention the question number also So fifty-four D is the answer, right? Okay, good guys. Next question from Gas Dynamics. So from Gas Dynamics, you guys can see this is a simple numerical. Okay, and they actually they ask total temperature. So this can be solved. And same way, uh, there is simple questions. Uh, this is theoretical uh, formula question. So you guys can see. A question number seventy nine. Tell me the answer, guys. So, question number seventy nine. What is the answer? So, guys, uh, just one feedback. Is this session is getting helpful? Those who are watching can just simply tell in this. chat box it will motivate me because i have put a good amount of effort to make this session especially our team has put 29 what is the answer guys across a strong normal shock the ratio of density after the shock to the that of before the shocks attains a value of What is the answer, Krishna? C is the answer. Gamma plus one by gamma minus one. Oh, someone saying infinity. So I just request you guys can thumbs up if you are liking this session. Density remain density remain constant. By so many answers. C is the answer. D is the answer. b is also answer somebody told again guys i will i will i will suggest you guys refer your basics okay i think it is not a tough question so you guys just refer normal shock uh, concepts and find out the answer i will not solve because my expertise is aircraft structures and i have studied uh, these uh, 15 years back okay now the aircraft propulsion so in aircraft propulsion what kind of the question the question number 77 you guys read the thrust of rocket engine is what is the thrust of rocket engine directly proportional to flight speed directly proportional to square of flight speed inversely proportional to flight speed independent of flight speed tell me guys what is the answer For rocket, how we get thrust? T two change of momentum, right? Mass flow rate into m dot a, right? So what is the answer? Independent of flight speed. Others, right? D is the answer. I feel D is the answer. Others, what is the answer? We pin D is the answer. D is the answer. Okay, good. So like this. So are these tough questions from core? Guys, just respond quickly. Are these tough questions from core? So 
Swastik, you are telling C is the answer. You must go and read thoroughly. Now the question number 29. So they asked, what is the final temperature of the system? Again, it's a question which is more of related with thermodynamics and gas dynamics. Okay. So uh, these are simple numericals. Okay, questions are easy, yes, but the computation will be high when they take exam. So whoever do relatively well and that too in, uh, uh, yes, 29, uh, I think you can solve Krishna because you might have practiced that this paper. So aircraft materials. So there are some questions from aircraft materials also. So there is one qu questions in paints. So the pigments in paints used to Okay, so this question, uh, uh, like uh, usually, yes, need preparation of basics thoroughly. So this question also can be uh, solved if you little bit study uh, related to this compositions of paints. Why this paint related question is asked? Because in aircraft, a lot of coating and painting also done. So this is related to that. Uh, now next again, uh, this another question which is related to materials, aircraft materials, okay, and then flight mechanics. So many questions they asked from flight mechanics, I think 18 questions were there, yeah, so you can see this is one of the questions, guys, tell the answer for this question. Which one of the following statement is true for the question number four from flight mechanics, guys? yeah so read this question which one of the following statement is true for the airplane performance condition that occurs at maximum lift to lift to drag ratio so question number four what is the answer quickly Maximum range of propeller driven airplanes. Others. What is the answer? For four A is the answer. Yes, maximum range of propeller driven airplanes attended at what? Maximum lift to drag ratio condition, right? So A is the answer. A is the answer. And for this, you can refer, yeah, uh, one more resource which can be useful for uh, core aerospace learning is what? IGC sort notes. IGC is uh, like uh, formula sheets and sort notes. So those who are watching this session can use IGC sort notes and formula sheets, which covers almost everything from aerospace engineering. Okay, so that's what. So this is question number four. Then question number fifth is again uh, for uh, airplane, airplane performance. Okay. And it's a simple numericals. Uh, question number fifth is from uh, performance and it is simple for tapered ratio. So you should know what is the taper ratio. They have given root code. So what is the answer for question number fifth? Question number fifth, what is the answer, guys? Question number fifth. For question number fifth, C is the answer. Others, 0.5. So it's a tip code to root code, right? Tapered ratio, yes. Simple questions, right? C is the answer. Yeah, now comes to avionics. Now comes to avionics. So guys, from avionics, if you see this first question, question number 68, it is from digital. Digital electronics. 
ओके और डिजिटल लॉजिक्स सो क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी एट यू कांट आंसर बिकॉज फॉर दिस यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर एंड यू नीड टू हेल्प नीड टू यू नीड टू गेट हेल्प फ्रॉम फ्रॉम एन एक्सपर्ट फ्रॉम दैट डोमेन राइट सिक्सटी एट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन इट इज फ्रॉम बीजेटी सो बीजेटी इज इन एनालॉग एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और यू कैन से और ई डी सी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिवाइस फिजिक्स ओके from edc this is uh, this question is asked from pn junction pn junction and bgt uh, so for that ic igc have expertise now the next question is again from bjt uh, uh, so uh, next question 57 number questions it is from uh, electronic uh, mas electrical machine generator based question from electrical machine yeah kitu have you solved krishna did you solve or just uh, you have the key from somewhere you are answering do you know really the concepts krishna for 68 69 do, do you know really concepts just respond in the chat box yeah so this uh, do you know really concepts krishna of digital ec and uh, this uh, edc electronics device physics electrical machine okay if you are aware that's well and good if not then you must explore now the question uh, from aircraft regulation so for that as i have told you guys need to refer car manuals and for that you guys can see the kind of questions they are asking so this is uh, uh, light gun signals you guys can see on the runways okay no but did you solve uh, that paper you do you know concepts see finding answers from x resource or y resource there is no use i know there is uh, some people have given all answers a b c d like that krishna has seen but i am asking have you gone through concepts after that yeah so you guys can see the questions from uh, aircraft regulations it's from uh, runway okay so consider the following statement regarding light gun signal with respect to aircraft on the ground the flashing green light signal on the ground means that aircraft is cleared to taxi the flashing red signal uh, red light means the aircraft must must taxi clear for the runway in use the flashing white signal means that air airport is safe landing is permitted so those who are ab aware about this ha so krishna can you answer this negative marking was there because i have not written exam i don't remember uh, what was the feedback by mr ram or gugan or others no no i am not telling that time you cleared or not i was telling post exam could you try to learn those subjects because you are answering na that's why i asked okay now answer this question krishna krishna Ninety for ninety, it is D. Ah, yeah? Gorav, it is correct. I, I don't know. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, Krishna. It to Krishna. What about negative marking was there? No, no. I am not ask, uh, asking answer before that. You answer that question. Was negative marking there in previous exam in twenty eighteen? 
for 90 it is a is the answer i am not sure i uh, I, I don't uh, know or i have not read these regulations because in my curriculum those were not there yeah uh, so now anyway we have seen the sample question so this is the last question which i would uh, like to know and uh, audience might be interested to know negative marking was there or not so guys those who have watched this session can thumbs up this okay you are telling these questions comes from uh, uh, this uh, air traffic control manuals yeah okay that's that's fine because all the manuals they have posted together are what the as safety air traffic in fact there is a question uh, what is that ice ice right there is one question now what is that kind of ice ice formation right mr kitu if i remember there is a question on that ice formation also okay so this is uh, question number 92 so this is uh, uh, based on this uh, gps receiver okay so there is no use of guessing uh, mr gora uh, it is better uh, to read these manuals as much so when the questions are asked we can be accurate yeah yeah i, I understand krishna can you answer my question yeah uh, there is question on that uh, mr gora uh, on icing part so now tell me mr uh, krishna was there negative marking i am not interested uh, now for uh, answers my question is was there negative marking when you wrote exam if i remember uh, based on my feedback tell me means what you are asking me to tell or you i am asking you was there negative marking for exam okay anyway i will find out uh, mr uh, prashant uh, uh, i'll find out my students are there na okay fine so negative marking is there right okay thank you for confirming krishna so it is one by third okay so that means guys you cannot guess right if you guess then you may lose marks right so four four guesses you make and then you do one correct answer uh, one correct right how much marks you will get four you do wrong and one you do correct but you have to answer more questions also because always you know when uh, this kind of competitive exams some kind of risk you may take based on the probability but you should not take you know random you can do the method of elimination try to eliminate as many options and then only do guess okay okay so you guys can reach to us for more information when uh, exam dates are declared and before that also you guys uh, be free to start your preparation based on the input i have given and again i'm asking if you like this uh, session do uh, do thumbs up and if you have any doubt anything about whatever the session we have taken you guys can me can ask now okay and igc is a 
uh, starting last wedge for uh, gate aerospace 2024 from july 10 so if anybody looking for gate support can also approach us and those who are already igc student they must put more efforts i'll be uh, more happy to support you guys okay so any question thank you all and guys uh, uh, be free to share our works to your fellow juniors and friends uh, we have been putting a lot of efforts yeah let me do that the ram sony url right ram sony url let me do that straight away Okay. Whose contact number? My contact number. It's there, na? IGC's contact number is always there. On website, it is there. Okay, so I attend gate classes. Contact number. Uh, yeah, you can see Mr. Krishna. So I just is contact number. I will just write 9740501604. Am I correct? 9740501604. Okay. So thank you all. <clears throat> Let's celebrate and uh, all the best and uh, best wishes to IGCians and IGCians will rock. Others will also do well <clears throat> after watching this session and uh, also those who are preparing self, they will also do well if they follow basics. Yeah. So thank you all. All the best. Any question? Krishna, Vipin, Sam Matthew. Uh, no Krishna, call on tomorrow working time. Uh, it's already late, 11 o'clock. It's already 11 o'clock. You call tomorrow. Okay. So, any question? Uh, Rangarasu, Gaurav, uh, those who are watching, Vashant, Vasant, you must try for this. Have a good chance. Okay. So, if any question, I can answer quickly, otherwise we'll leave the session. And uh, thank you all for watching this session. All the best, guys.